hope you have subscribed already because all the discussions are going on live now a very uh, shocking rather i would say unexpected you know thing coming out of the first shift on 23rd january which has broken the trend of the last couple of shifts as well as i would say even the last couple of years usually till now maths was the lengthy hard one chemistry and physics very straight forward very easy to score i would say but now what has happened is there is a sudden turn where you know students who are expecting similar things usually nta does not throw out many surprises suddenly nta has given you know a shocking surprise to all the students so what has happened is basically the physics paper was little bit on the higher side as uh, you know compared to the previous shifts and shockingly most of the questions are also you know very very i wouldn't say different or very unique but very different than the usual what you would expect and what has happened is they have made sure that the students cannot guess work so easily and they have ensured that the student has to solve the question till the end you know how to do it you have seen it somewhere for example the question of you know ray optics where refractive indices are given lens is silvered on one side different medium is given radius is also different this question was repeated in yesterday's shift also but you know doing that will take some time if you make any sign mistake or any variable mistake you will get a completely wrong answer so this particular question got repeated second question which got repeated in all the three shifts in physics specially was a mass being taken out and you have to find moment of inertia or the center of mass so this model got repeated but they have asked it very differently usually the radius of the disk is half but this time the radius of the disk which is taken out is not exactly half so there are some small changes you feel like you have seen it but you have to do it and some questions were also little bit on the lengthier side and you know they have explored the border line areas like for example the charging and discharging in a rc circuit the exact equation was not asked but you should know okay how does the charging curve look like if you have an idea it becomes easier for rc circuits or discharging how it happens what happens when a capacitor is just connected so these things are you know borderline topics and that is what they have explored especially in physics multiple concepts were also involved in certain questions usually what used to happen most of the questions till now were ratio based like find the ratio of radius find the ratio of focal length find the ratio of energy like that okay but this time ratio based questions it's not the priority they have asked questions which need solving which are even statement based yes statement based questions they have asked a lot and some of you are joining in now guys first of all like this video because what happens is if you don't like it i won't make more such analysis number one number two youtube will think that you are not interested it will not recommend you these kind of videos chumma it will disturb you then so quickly smash that like button right away right now yes sarvani so many of you are uh, saying that yes sir this is what exactly happened so warning for the other shifts please study harder for physics and it might be that even chemistry can become harder number two what happens is what happened is in chemistry there was more focus on inorganic and physical seen yesterday's shift uh, it was not like that inorganic uh, 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 inorganic and physical was not the primary focus organic and physical was the focus so today it was very much different they have also tried to mix organic with physical in yesterday's exam today they have tried to mix some concepts in inorganic and physical chemistry so there were some you know multi concept questions that is what has been seen biomolecules has come in every single thing uh, also some students claimed that there was radioactive question in physics just confirm if it was true if that is true then it should be a bonus question i mean if it is really out of syllabus also the chemistry paper was not very easy peasy lemon squeezy but it was i would say little bit more on the moderate side it was not very easy it's not like sir i could do it within 25 minutes or 30 minutes no it was not like that maths was as usual meaning students found it lengthy and also above moderate not tough lengthy 
that is what has happened so the cut off will definitely reduce especially for this particular shift okay so especially for this particular shift like yesterday's shifts the 99 percentile was above 180 that was what was predicted up to 200 marks but for this particular shift it might go up to 160 marks cutoff might come down for 99 percentile to 160 to even 180 marks and the 90 percentile cutoff which was 120 marks for yesterday's shifts might come down to 100 marks that means uh, you know 93 percentile sorry 93 percentile which was the expected cutoff can come down for qualifying for j advance might come down to 100 marks as well so the cutoffs will reduce but it will be for everyone so if it is difficult it is difficult for everyone and you're competing with students internally in your shift and then the scores get normalized so don't break your head too much it is difficult definitely for everyone a warning to tomorrow's students and also 28 29 30th shift please don't take it lightly don't think ah the paper is as predicted oh it will be simple only oh questions will get repeated yes few questions will be repeated but surprise could be chemistry is suddenly difficult or maths is easy and physics is difficult all these things are possible now nta is playing mind games trust me there was a question in physics if that is as per whatever we got in memory but if actually came was so crazy i mean while taking the square root you had to check both plus and minus sign and one of the solution only matches and you get to know okay the minus solution or the plus solution is wrong because root of a negative number comes in the end then again you have to redo the question and again then you get the answer yesterday's shift also some work power energy question if it was asked on instantaneous power then the solution is entirely different where whereas if it was asked on total power then the solution is completely different so they are playing with small small words even the surface tension question many people made a mistake saying that sir it is 4s by r 2s by r yes 4s by r 2s by r formula works if it is excess pressure but the question was not on bubble or drop it was on who has more surface tension so they are asking very minute details and they have confused with the manner in which they have framed the question so be very careful the question is framed in a harder way but the answer can be found easily the question can be uh, question is framed in a slightly confusing way but the answer can be found easily so be very very careful read the question properly many questions had which is incorrect which is false those kind of questions as well again the priority has been modern physics and you know uh, current electricity and diodes and units and dimensions and work power energy surprisingly emi and magnetism not so much focus okay so be very careful guys please practice as much as possible be with an open mind just think anything can be hard anything can be easy just practice as many models of question don't just depend on the pyqs of today and yesterday shift also solve 2015 2010 2006 pyqs they are exploring different models and very unique questions okay quickly smash the like button because only when you like I will think that you are interested in the analysis and I will give you guidance for the next shift. Quickly smash the like button and share this video with all the friends of your shifts so that they are prepared or else, you know, they will also probably be disappointed, depressed. So please don't let any student go under depression because of this. So make sure they are mentally at least prepared. Thank you for liking and making this channel number one J English channel. And thank you for subscribing. Bye bye. Hasta la vista. Take care.